Now imagine an application that brought all of your favorite content from Netflix, from Amazon Freebie, from Disney Plus, from Tubi TV, all of that content brought together into a single application, allowing you to find the best movies and TV shows that you can enjoy on your Fire Stick, Fire TV. Now, this application is absolutely free, doesn't require any kind of registration, you don't need to use any kind of VPN, you don't see any adverts, and with this latest update, they've now added in more than 350 repositories, 350 different content libraries, where you can now access the best content on all of your devices. So please do take a moment to hit that like button, make sure you hit that subscribe button. So with all of that being said, let's get started. If you're new to the channel and you want to stay up to date with the latest tech tutorials, the latest Fire Stick, Android and Android TV tips and tricks, then please do subscribe and hit the notification bell. It's a small click from you, but it makes a big difference to me. Thank you. And here we can see this is the brand new version of Just Watch which has now got more than 10 million downloads. And that's no small number, guys. So very, very popular application. And we can see here they're updated on the 5th of January, just a few days ago. Now, as mentioned, this really is the best way for you to access all of your favorite streaming content, whether you're using free streaming services or premium ones. And through a single app, you can now go ahead and access all of that content. Let's open that up. Now, when you start the application for the first time, you can see that it doesn't require you to create any account. You don't need to register, but it is optional if you want to do that. For example, if you want to take advantage of you know, creating favorites, maybe creating custom watch lists, then you can go ahead and create a free account by following this QR code. But in my demonstration, I'm going to do everything without creating that free account. So the first thing we need to do is set up your streaming services. So here we're basically telling the application which of the streaming services, many, many free ones, some premium ones that you'll subscribe to, then based on that, it can then use this recommendation engine to find the best content to watch because there's no point in me having five different streaming services. I open up the first one, doesn't have anything good in there. I open up the second one that also doesn't have anything good in there. Instead of me opening up five different applications, I can search or browse all of that content through this single application. So the first thing I'm going to do is just select whichever applications I have installed or I'm subscribed to. We can see they've got the massive freebie now, which just has a super large library of great free content. Let's take that. I've enabled Netflix as I'm subscribed, Disney Plus, Prime Video, um, you can see guys, if you are subscribed to some of these other ones, which are, I think more available for the U S audience, including YouTube, for all of those YouTube movies, you can tick that. Let's go down. Here we can see, uh, the Magellan TV, which is a great documentary application. I've ticked that, but you can see guys, just lots and lots of different options. Now, of course, if you access this application from USA, you will see even more options for you to select. But it's great they actually aggregate many free streaming services so it's not a case of you have to have premium subscriptions you can purely use this application just with free streaming services only here for example they've even got netflix basic with adverts if that's what you're subscribed to okay so i've ticked uh, seven things on mine so now when i go to home this is now scanning all of those seven libraries that i've ticked and showing me content from them here, for example, this particular list is in a mood for something different. So maybe some slightly um, out there content will be shown here. And when you click on something, you can see this, for example, is being shown on Disney Plus. This one here is also Disney Plus. This one here is, for example, on Amazon Prime. Now, if I want to watch something, for example, this one here is being streamed on Disney Plus. I can click on that. Let's click on watch season one, episode one. Click on that again. This will now automatically launch Disney Plus for us. And it should take us straight to that content. And let me select my profile. Give that a second and we can see it does exactly that. So no need to open up 10 different applications or find different applications or different content through the single Just Watch application. I can now go ahead and browse all of those different content libraries from that single app. 
Let's back out of that. Now, in certain repositories, you may see a message that you can't directly launch uh, this particular repository or this particular episode or particular movie from here. But I do actually have a fix for that because there was some, I think, news, I think a couple of months ago or maybe even last year, that Amazon were going to block hot linking for certain applications because they don't want you to launch other third party applications to watch content. You have to do it all inside the same application. Now, the easy fix for that is just to install the Android TV version of this application, which I will show you at the end. And when you use that application, you won't see any limitations on any of that hot linking issue. Here, for example, we can see this one is on uh, Prime Video. I can click on that. I can click on Watch Now. And again, because of that integration, this should now automatically launch Prime Video for me. I can click on that. And more importantly, it should take me directly into this series and even onto this episode. And we can see it's done exactly that. And it even starts playing. I'm sure that's working absolutely fine. So that kind of integration, that kind of ease of use, especially with this latest version where they have improved the integration, added even more content libraries, really does make Just Watch a superb, phenomenal application for all of you streaming fans. Let's back out of that. So overall, guys, I really am impressed with this January 2024 release of this application. As you've seen today, they really have added in so many more content libraries, lots and lots of big repositories, especially many free streaming services. So whether you are somebody that pays for official streaming services or somebody that only uses the free ones, I definitely think this latest version of Just Watch is definitely worthwhile checking out. Now, if for whatever reason you can't see the Just Watch application in your Amazon App Store or somewhere else, or you want to get the Android TV version, which doesn't have that hot linking problem, to get that, just navigate to my website, which is just techdoctoruk.com, click on tutorials, and the latest tutorial in the list will be how you can get this updated version of Just Watch. Here we are, so we can scroll down. We have some step-by-step -step instructions. Underneath all of that, we should have a single link for the latest version of this application, which is this one here. So you can click on that, install it. With this version, you won't see any of that hot linking problem. And you really can go ahead and enjoy the best content across all of your different repositories. And nothing you can do if you want the easiest way to change your virtual location, to change your IP address, protect yourself online. The best way to do that, the safest way to do that is to use a VPN. Right now, there's a really special offer, $2.49 a month. So at that price point to get total protection for unlimited devices, maximum speed, no logging, covers your Fire Sticks, your Windows PCs, your laptops, your Android TVs, all devices covered with that single license. This really is a very special price and something that I do think you guys, if you are in the market for a new VPN or if you're not happy with your current VPN, you should definitely check this out. Using my link does help support my channel. So if you do want to support me and my work, this really is the best way to do it. So really appreciate your support. Do have a look in the video description and pinned comment if you want to take up this special offer. Do leave me a comment below. Let me know what you think and I'll hopefully catch up with you guys real soon. Thanks.